Happy holidays, beer runners. It has been a while since we've done one of our famous blind taste testing videos. We've got something a little bit different for the holiday season with our special episode of Will It Eggnog. We're going to be taking some very weird alcohols and mixing them with eggnog, seeing how it turns out. So that's as much as I'll give away now. Let's jump into the video. Cheers, beer runners. Welcome to a very special episode of Will It Eggnog. I mentioned we have several obscure types of alcohol that we're going to be mixing with eggnog, seeing how it turns out. We're not going with the standards. I'm a big fan of eggnog. My personal preference is to mix it with uh, bourbon specifically. Whiskey is usually one of the main go-tos when you're drinking eggnog. The other common go-to is some kind of rum. Those are the two kind of classic recipes when you're making any kind of eggnog. So we're steering away from those. We want to get weird with it. That's all I'm going to give away. Let's jump into the first variation of the holiday eggnog and we will answer the question, will it eggnog? We are starting off with something not too outlandish and actually something that I've tried before, eggnog with vodka. Sort of like a take on a white Russian, if you will, but with some added holiday spirit. So that's what we're gonna be kicking things off with. Here is your white Christmas. White Christmas, first one up. So I can say pretty confident that I'm going to enjoy this. I have enjoyed it when I've made it in the past. Cheers. Nice and vodka-y. See that? It's delicious. It's Vodka isn't an overpowering flavor. The bite of the vodka mixes really well with the eggnog, especially on ice. Highly recommend it if you have not tried this before. Like I said, if you like white Russians or have had white Russians, this is a great way to add some holiday spirit to your typical white Russian. White Christmas, 10 for 10 would recommend. It will eggnog. Number one out of the way. Moving on to number two. We tried to put these in order of least obscure to most obscure. So we'll see if you agree as we go through the list. I don't want to give anything away. I want you to be surprised. Next up, again, going from least to more or getting slowly more obscure as we move along. We are adding in, had to do one with beer. Figured Guinness was probably the best bet, a nice nitro stout. We'll see how it turns out, our take on uh, kind of your traditional black and tan, if you will. Here is your naughty or nice. <laughs> little light, little dark. It's nice and frothy on top, which you probably can't see in the camera. So for this one, we did about half and half. Half Guinness, half eggnog. It looks like a foamy, frothy chocolate milk. It smells like Guinness, not a lot of eggnog. That's also surprisingly good. This was one of the ones I was more nervous about. I thought would be, I just thought like the taste of beer wouldn't really mesh well with eggnog, but this is actually really tasty. Obviously the sweetness of the eggnog comes through pretty strong. And then you just get like the slight bitterness of the beer. It's not overpowering. Again, half Guinness, half eggnog. This is, I would drink this. This is really good. These might actually become more standard cocktails that I enjoy <laughs> on a more regular basis. This is really good though. Would definitely recommend if you couldn't tell from the glowing praise I've given it already. Will it eggnog? Absolutely. <laughs> this definitely eggnogs. This is very tasty. So moving on from the Guinness, next up, number three. The last three are the ones that I am for sure the most worried about. This one, not as worried about peppermint schnapps. I feel like this could be pretty tasty. Uh, add a nice peppermint kick to the traditional eggnog flavor. Not sure how that's gonna go, but that's what we're here to find out. So moving on to number three. Here is your reindeer fuel. Some delicious peppermint reindeer fuel. This is also a lot less uh, thick. Peppermint schnapps, we put in two double shots of the peppermint schnapps. Make sure that peppermint really comes through um, and I can already smell. It's not even like peppermint specific flavor. It is peppermint schnapps specific. Like it has a very distinct odor to it. That's a lot of peppermint. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> I can't believe we haven't gotten one that's just been gross yet, but this is also surprisingly good. Um, the peppermint hits first and it tastes just like a peppermint patty. Like it is just pure peppermint flavor. And then the sweetness of the eggnog smooths out the peppermint. Neither one is overpowering. I was also worried since we doubled up with the shots of peppermint schnapps that the punch of the alcohol might be a little bit strong. The peppermint is just so strong that you don't taste the bite of the alcohol as much. Strong flavor wise, so I couldn't drink a lot of these, but if I was just looking for like a fun winter cocktail, 
I think this is a fun way to mix it up. Maybe combining the peppermint schnapps with some other things um, just to give some holiday spice to your typical eggnog recipe. So again, will it eggnog? I think the answer is yes here. We're going very basic with these recipes. We're just mixing uh, alcohol and eggnog. Again, I think you could take it a lot further, putting in different spices, nutmeg, cinnamon, what have you, combining different alcohols. I feel like there's really some room to improve these recipes, but so far, these have been surprisingly good. Put these away onto number four. Uh, pretty nervous about the last two, if I'm being honest. I polled the audience to see what some recommendations were for just like alcohols that you couldn't see going well with eggnog or just you wouldn't think to mix with eggnog. An overwhelming response was Jägermeister. I think I actually lucked out because they were out of the bottle, these little bottles of typical Jägermeister, just plain original Jägermeister. They only had cold brew coffee Jägermeister. So still 33%, still got the Jägermeister in it, but also mixed with cold brew coffee. I think that could help with the flavor. We put about one and a half of these bottles in, so um, a little more or a little less than two double shots. We're really channeling our inner Hans Gruber uh, for this one, channeling our German friends bringing in the Jägermeister. Jägermeister. I'll tell you, this one doesn't smell delicious. Perfect. Um, but here is your Na Gatomi Plaza. Na Gatomi did I, did Plaza. Did I say that right? <laughs> Thank you, nailed it. <laughs> All right, Na Gatomi Plaza. I don't even, I'm worried to smell it. Uh, it kind of smells like a cleaning solution, if I'm being honest. It does. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> smell like something you should drink at all. It smells artificial. I don't even know what to make of that. I think that might be the licorice, um, like wow. the licorice or the Jaeger. That, oh, it just does not smell good. That's what we want. <laughs> Down the hatch. I don't know. Oh. Oh, <laughs> no. Um, it's not as bad as I was expecting. The coffee definitely helps, but if you've had Jägermeister, you know the overwhelming flavor is black licorice. Um, I've been known to have a Jaeger bomb or two in my day. The nice thing with that is the red, the sweetness of the Red Bull and the carbonation mixed with the Jaeger um, really just helps eliminate the flavor of the Jaeger as you're having that drink. Um, the eggnog does not do that. The sweetness of the eggnog is not enough to overpower or even complement the flavor of the black licorice. That aftertaste of the black licorice, it is, it is not good. This is definitely my least favorite we've had so far. Someone might enjoy it, so that's where I'm torn. Like, will it eggnog? Maybe this, if someone really likes Jägermeister, which I've met people who do, this might be up your alley, um, but I, I just can't in good conscience, pass it on. So will this eggnog, I'm going no on this one. I'm just gonna put this yeah. off to the side. Be done, <laughs> be done with that one. Yeah. Fifth and final question of will it nog is the one that I have by far been the most nervous about. Um, it's the first one that I thought of when I first hatched this idea and immediately I was like, oh, that's a great idea for the episode. Oh, this will probably be horrible. Real quick, drop a comment down below. What do you think that alcohol is? So I'm gonna keep talking for a second while you type that in. What you can't see on camera right now is my wife is mixing the drinks behind the camera and she gagged and eyes are watering because of her memories. This is a liquor that has a very distinct aroma and if you've had bad experiences, that aroma is very quick to bring back those memories. We should go ahead and jump into it. If you commented down below, were you correct? Obviously, we had to give tequila a try. Tequila, the alcohol, everyone either loves to love or loves to hate. Everyone's got a tequila story. I've certainly had bad nights on tequila. That hasn't stopped me from still enjoying it. I would still say it's probably one of my preferred alcohols. Big fan of margaritas, just big fan of tequila drinks in general. In terms of mixing with eggnog, I don't know that I've ever had any kind of dairy beverage with tequila in it, um, and so I am definitely nervous about that, but we will see how it goes. So tequila, will it eggnog? That is the question. Here is your Feliz Nagidad. <laughs> Feliz Nagidad. Enjoy. I'm glad to get rid of that glass. I'm so nervous about this. Another one I'm very nervous to smell, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It doesn't smell as bad as I thought. I don't have the same visceral reactions, but it definitely smells like tequila. Salty, salty tequila, which is just what you want mixed with that thick, creamy, sweet eggnog. Down the hash, we'll see how this goes. This also smells a little chemically, just not natural. I think just the sweetness and the saltiness of the tequila just are not ideal, but here we go. Oh, oh, it's horrible. 
It's just like creamy tequila. <laughs> you don't get any of the sweetness of the eggnog at all. It just tastes like thick, <laughs> thick tequila. Um, this is not good. This is not something you should try at home. Even if you like tequila, uh, definitely cannot recommend this. So will it eggnog? Absolutely not. Why did we do this? Why did we think this was a good idea? Tequila and eggnog should never be mixed and should not be celebrated. If you like tequila, you know it would make it great if it were thicker. That's what you should think about. Just thick, thick, creamy tequila. I think you've said creamy too many times. Creamy, creamy, <laughs> creamy thick tequila. <laughs> Let's line up everything we had. Tequila, Jaeger, I'll put the bottles in front. This was peppermint, Guinness, and vodka. vodka. Vodka, Guinness, peppermint schnapps, Jaegermeister, cold brew Jaegermeister, and tequila. Will it eggnog? Yes, yes, yes. These two are the best for sure. Really good. This could be like a fun holiday cocktail if you spruce it up a little bit with some garnishes, some other spices thrown in. These two are good on their own, but you could also, I think, amplify with some added stuff. This, a hard maybe. If you like the taste of black licorice, it's not horrible. I personally am not a huge fan, so did not like it as much. So I'm giving that a no, but there might be some of you out there that would enjoy that. This, absolutely not. If you do enjoy this, I'm honestly worried about you as a person in general. So will it eggnog? A thousand times no. No, but we'll give it a pass if you think yes. Yes, 100%. These are good to go. I'm surprised. I thought more of these would be flops. Most surprised by the Guinness. Like, this is actually a very, very good drink. Will it eggnog? We answered the question for five different variations. If you have ideas for other things we should try, leave it down in the comments below. Maybe we'll be back next year trying some other variations of the traditional eggnog cocktail. I personally am a huge uh, eggnog fan, so I would love to try out more options. Um, but yeah, this was a lot of fun. If you haven't seen any of our other blind taste testing videos, you can click up in the little thing that's popping up above my head right now. I'll link to some of those other videos that we've done, or you can always subscribe to the channel, see all of the videos that I've made. If this is your first time here, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have ideas for things that we should taste in the future, always let me know down in the comments below. I hope you'll give the video a thumbs up. That just helps other people uh, find it as well. Share it with your friends. Um, and that's it for this episode of Will It Eggnog. So thank you for tuning in. Happy holidays, and we will see you next time. Cheers.